Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with you. And another person here for July 2022. Let's see, for the situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles crossed by the star. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So it feels like somebody is trying to possibly keep their distance or trying to keep their independence, trying to not be attached, even though I feel like that's actually contradictory to what they want because the star, which is also Aquarius energy, by the way, some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, so yeah, this is in the challenge position. So there's something that they really want. There's something that there is a very, very strong desire for. Um, but this person is trying to stay detached from that desire, okay? It could be you or it could be them. Let's see for your energy we have the devil. All right, so Capricorn, the three of cups and the six of cups. Okay, so it could be that maybe you in the recent past may have either had a lot of fear or maybe there was a little bit of maybe either obsessing or just being really attached um, to this, but it definitely feels like there was something here that was creating a lot of toxicity for you, all right, like in your own mind, in your own energy. I do see you coming out of that, which is really, really good. I see you moving more towards um, being more light, you know, not, not holding on to that fear or not allowing negative thought patterns to take over. However, I do see you still wanting wanting this person though, wanting a reconciliation with them if you're not together or just wanting things to be more happy and more light with this person. It definitely feels like it's a very strong connection, a deep soul connection. And yeah, um, we'll see. Let's see what's going on with them. We have, ooh, the Ten of Swords the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign as well. Um, this person is definitely... Ooh, they. I, I feel like while you, you were in this like kind of toxic or fear or turmoil type of an energy with this attachment, this person was going through a very painful ending. So I do feel like there might have been an ending or some kind of an ending between the two of you where... Yeah, somebody is really trying to stay detached, um, which is going against what they feel. I feel like it's this person. Um, it was painful. It definitely was painful for them. Um, this is kind of, it's reminding me a little bit of Leo, because I think we have the King of Pentacles in the exact same position as well. Um, so I'm going to tell you the same thing. I feel like, especially with the Queen of Pentacles being right next to it, for some of you, this could be somebody who is um, involved in another commitment. Um, doesn't have to be, but definitely could be the case for some of you. And for others of you, yeah, it's like this person... There's something here with commitment. Um, even if it's towards you, it's like it's there. It's like the energy is there. They see you as this person that they would want to be committed to. But again, it feels like there's the sense of trying to stay detached. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, that's good. Um, I feel like this is you feeling more empowered. All right, now what this person does, we'll see um, what comes through when we clarify. But I, for the most part, for the potential outcome, I feel like the important message is that you are finding your own self. You are feeling good about yourself. And not only that, I do also get that it's this person also seeing you as being very desirable and pretty much coming to terms with, you know, the fact that that is what they want. That is what their wish is. Let's see. 
Let's clarify that Nine of Pentacles with the star. All right, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, Death, and the High Priestess. Okay, so Scorpio energy is also showing up here. Yeah, uh, something, something shifted here, something changed. Um, it could be that the two of you were also in a commitment, possibly, okay, it doesn't have to be, um, but something definitely shifted. There was a ch major change, and it's, it's like you felt that change, and not only that, I mean, it was huge both the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. So I really feel like, yeah, you know, this was an ending in some way or another. If it's not like exactly an ending or a breakup, there's something that shifted big time. Um, I'm getting here that even though that this person um, is staying detached or trying to at least be independent of you at the moment, and it, yeah, I can see why, you know, it doesn't feel so good to you. I mean, you're, you're missing this person, but there's a higher purpose behind it. Um, I feel like this person is actually following their intuition on this, even though it's against their desires, because there's something here that they need to learn, or there's some change that needs to happen. And it can only happen if they are keeping their distance at the moment or detaching from you. For some of you, this could even be serving the purpose of you detaching from them. So whatever it is that's happening here, whatever it is that they are doing, it's also serving the purpose to help you to detach for, because that's just going to be good for you in the long run, even if you do come back together. So let's see that devil's energy in your energy here. The Emperor and the Ten of Swords for you as well. Yeah, this was definitely an ending that hurt the both of you. Um, you might not be aware of their Ten of Swords, but it's here. <laughs> it's definitely here. They were feeling the pain of this just as much as you. It does also come in as, you know, you feeling like, you know, you lost the earth beneath your feet. Um, lost that, some kind of control that you felt like you had, which may have even been on a subconscious level. Um, it's almost like... I'm trying to find the way to say this so that it doesn't sound <laughs> um, more harsh than what I mean it to sound because I don't it's not harsh at all in the way that I'm feeling this but I it's coming in as you having gone through some kind of a time period where you 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 may have been coming off as controlling a little bit or um, I and mean, you know maybe you weren't but I feel like this is just how the other person may have been perceiving you um, yeah, because there was this attachment here and it's like you wanted things to happen in a certain way and it feels like, you know, that that's part of the lesson here and that's what you are detaching from. And you are, you are doing it. You are doing it. And this isn't just you. I mean, this happens to all of us at one time or another where, you know, there's a situation and we just really want something to happen in a certain way. So, yeah, all right, let's see the Three of Cups. The Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like your energy is beginning to soften a little bit um, in the good way. You're beginning to find some kind of a balance where I feel like, you know, you're just lightening up, you know, whatever it is that you wanted to control here or, you know, whatever it is that was creating all this turmoil, this toxicity within your own, um, within your own self. It's like you're lightening up, you're learning how to release that and, you know, just give enough to this situation in terms of your energy where it's not taking over. It's not this unhealthy attachment anymore. So, yeah, good job. Let's see that Six of Cups. Justice, okay, Libra, and the Fool. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a Libra, possibly an Aries, or maybe you have these signs in your own chart. 
Um, I don't remember if I mentioned Scorpio and Aquarius as well here. We also do have Earth signs for this person showing up also. Um, yeah, you're definitely finding your balance. We have both the Six of Pentacles and Justice here for you. So you are moving towards, you know, just being more balanced, coming out of that toxicity, you know, releasing that need to control and just allowing things to be what they are. I feel like with the fool, it's like becoming more comfortable with the unknown of what might happen with this connection, even though, you know, no doubt you do miss this person. You do still have this longing for them. But your emotions and your feelings are becoming more manageable. And not only that, you are learning lessons and karma is balancing out through all of this situation that is happening. So let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see the Ten of Swords. The King of Cups and Judgment. Yeah, this person, this is why they were feeling a lot of pain with this ending is because they do have a lot of love for you. I mean, they love you a lot. Not only that, this person is definitely wanting a reconnection with you. Um, they would want this to kind of like start over for some of them. They might even be feeling the need to be forgiven eventually. Um, but whatever this ending was, I feel like it's a major wake up call for them. Like it's teaching them a lot. Like I said, it's like they followed their intuition with this, with keeping their distance. Um, they there's there's a higher purpose behind it just as i said right with that high priestess and it's showing up again here now with the judgment card on the ten of swords there's a higher purpose for this ending and you know they were meant to go through this pain and you were meant to go through this pain and as harsh as that might sound it's through pain that we grow it's through pain that we learn and that we shift and make necessary adjustments to ourselves to become better versions of ourselves. And I feel like that is exactly what is happening here. So let's see the King of Pentacles. The Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. Oh, okay. They're definitely not very happy in the situation that they find themselves in right now. Like whatever type of commitment they are in, if they are in one, um, or whatever their beliefs or whatever it is that they're doing in terms of commitment, they're not happy, right? Because they also have this longing for you. See, they have the Six of Cups as well. Definitely a very deep connection, as I said before. So they're longing for this. They want to be devoted to you. They want to be committed to you. And the fact that that's not the case right now, it is creating a lot of unhappiness for them. And I actually feel like they're going through a depressive type of a state. Now, for some of them who might be involved in families, this could also be in terms of children, okay? So, specific message for some of you. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Sun and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, definitely getting a message here for children for some of you. And I feel like this is similar to Leo, Leo's energy um, or Leo's reading for the other person. So maybe some of you are dealing with Leo. We just have Leo showing up as well with the sun here. Or maybe you, you're a Leo and it's vice versa. Um, just take the messages as they resonate. Yeah, this person, I feel like... They definitely feel like, you know, you are the one that they want to be with. You are the one that they see as their queen of pentacles. doesn't matter that you are actually this queen of wands here. This is talking in terms of commitment, right? Um, being devoted to someone in the 3D. This is what they want. Um, this is where they feel like their happiness will be, but it's also creating a lot of stress for them, a lot of anxiety, because they don't have that at the moment. Like I said, there's a lot of nostalgia here, but as I said before, there's a reason why they need to keep their distance here, um, staying detached from what they truly want for the time being. Let's see the Queen of Wands for the potential outcome here. So 
I definitely feel like this person is going through a depression at the moment. All right, let's see. Queen of Wands. We have the Chariot. Okay, so Cancer Energy. The Eight of Wands. Ooh, and the Tower. Okay, major, major stuff happening here. Um, definitely you're feeling empowered. I do see some kind of movement here that feels like it's very, very powerful, actually. Possibly even unexpected. Like, this could definitely be talking about travel. And I'm definitely getting this unexpected feeling with the Tower that it's just going to happen, like, out of the blue, like, out of nowhere there's just this movement like and i mean literal physical movement um and it's coming from a very assertive type of an energy here a very assertive place this could even be you um just really moving forward either way it's very positive i kind of get that it's both i feel like this is you you know feeling very assured of yourself you know um taking a lot of action, moving forward, away from that devil's energy, whatever that was from within you and in your own headspace, and really starting new, like really just getting rid of that. And then for the other person, I feel like there's movement as well, like physical movement, like this could even be travel. And again, it's like, it's coming with, oh, it's, it's a very strange energy and it's going to be different for each of you, but it feels like, you know, there's almost like some kind of another ending to, to something here. Especially, I would say this makes sense, especially for those of them who might be involved in other commitments, like just really making a huge shift in that department as well. So yeah, interesting reading, Sagittarius. Let's see the final message for you, if this resonated. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you like my videos. And let's see, Sagittarius. And we have Twin Flame. All right, so Divine Soulmate Connection, for sure here, right? As I've been saying all along, you know, this feels like a very, very deep soul connection. So just take that message as it resonates for you. All right, Sagittarius, I thank you so much for watching. Much love.